What is up, tribies, and welcome back to the tribe. I first want to say thank you to all of our new tribe members who have joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe. And if you have not joined into this big, beautiful, melanated tribe, I'm going to need you to go right here, hit that red subscribe button, and join into all of this tribalness that we have got going on over here. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be putting on a wig. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys the wig that I had on and how I ordered it for Halloween, whoop de whoop It was cute, I kept it on, and you guys were interested to see how I got all of my hair into the wig. So that is what today's video is going to be about. How did I fit all of my hair into this wig? So if you are interested in seeing that, just keep on watching. All right, so before we get into the video, I wanna share with you guys one of my favorite perfume brands. You guys already know I have shared this perfume brands with you guys plenty of times but today they are sponsoring this portion of my video so thank you and it's Dossier. Dossier, such a dope perfume company you guys let me tell you. So when you go on their website depending on what type of scents you want it's categorized whether you like floral, fruity or more of like a spicier scent like I happen to like and you can pick your scent based by that and also based by uh, different perfume that you might like like name brands and they pretty much um, they base their perfumes inspired by those higher end brands but at a fair price shall I say so when you get your perfume it looks like this it comes with a little card and it says, we have made it our mission to deliver only the best quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair and transparent price that allows you to explore new scents. And that is absolutely true. Their prices are amazing. Their prices are great. And when you get your perfume also, it has um, the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes of your perfume that you selected. But it also has it on the bottle as well so like i said when you get your box this is how it comes you get a little sample size and you can pretty much just sample this you know get to know the scent see if the the scent works with your body chemistry and all that good stuff and for any reason if you don't like it you just send the perfume back and pick another one get a refund whatever it is you want to do try a new scent out but you always get a little sample size which i think is brilliant because i really like to put these in my purse if i'm going out if i'm going somewhere i like to put these in my purse to kind of like refreshen up but um this is how your little sample looks and it has a name of the scent that you picked now my scent this one is based off of lancome uh la via es bella so my perfume is based off Lancome and this is how the perfume looks. Now what I really like about it is that it has a magnetic top. For those of us who have kids, you guys already know they like to get into everything. So you have to kind of pull it because like I said, the top is magnetic and you just put it back and boom, you're good to go. I love the simplicity of the perfume bottle. It's a really good quality glass as well. And like I said, on the front, it has the top notes, the middle notes, and the base notes of your perfume. So for instance, my top notes are orange blossom, my middle notes are jasmine, hazelnut, and iris, and my base notes are patchouli and grommet cord. So this smells absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys can see my bottles back there, but my aunties came over and they were in my bathroom and I have like a lot of perfume on there. And they were in here like, trying to hijack those perfumes and so another one of my aunties was like give her back her perfume but um yeah so this is how it looks so i'm gonna leave all of their information in the description box if you guys want to try them out like i said their prices are amazing you get samples you can test it out if you don't like it you can send it back no questions asked and um yeah i also have a coupon code for you down there because they're having a black friday sale and uh yeah thank you dossier for sponsoring this portion of my video so let's get into how i fit all of this hair under a wig i'm gonna spray some on me so i can smell good while i'm doing my video let's just get into it <laughs> all right so i have been wearing my hair in some type of a head wrap for about a couple months now <laughs> 
and uh yeah so you guys know that this is the wig that i had on in my last video and you guys want to see how i fit all of my hair in there now you guys let me let me just put let me put it like this okay <laughs> all of you guys are so sweet in my last video but you know there were like there's always you know one rotten one in the bunch um if there's anything on my channel that you're not liking or you're not vibing with, okay, that's cool. You don't have to watch it. But to leave rude and nasty ass comments to me is it doesn't. No, I get it. I will say I don't get it. I do get it. People are miserable. Okay, I get it. But to inflict your misery on other people is a completely different thing. For you to have a opinion is one thing, but for you to have just. A horrible outlook and tell people what they need to do or tell people um, what they don't need to do it, to me it's just it's it's it, it, it doesn't make I don't know it's just it, it irritates me okay let's just say that so anyways um you guys know I'm not a wig person but by default I ordered this for Halloween and I fell in love with it and I was like now I get it like you know sometimes we judge what we don't understand but now I get it like wigs are fun they're fun and they're easy protective style and if it's something that you want to dabble in do it if it's something that you don't don't do it all right so easy and simple as that <laughs> but so this is the wig and i'll put all of her information down in the description as well you guys know that i got it from amazon and it was 23.99 actually this is the construction of the wig it's about the the circumference i think it was about 23 um in circumference which is still too small for my head um my hair cannot fit in all of this so i want you guys to know that um beforehand that my all my hair cannot fit um all in this wig but i'm going to show you guys how i got it in now i don't i don't think this is a lace front but it does kind of have like a parting space i think you can i, I don't really i don't know about wigs too much but I think you can like you know you can move the part over if you want it to I think so so you don't have to wear it like as a middle part but um the way that I do it you're not going to be able to see the part at all so it really doesn't matter it is like a body wave I just kept it braided um at the end let me undo the braid so you guys can see the texture after a while it does get tangled because it is synthetic but the texture of it is almost kind of like a yakky and it just it feels really good it's not super super silky and i like that it just kind of looks like flat ironed natural hair like really 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 flat ironed <laughs> natural hair um but it's pretty and i like it and i've only worn it twice i wore it the day that you guys saw me film it no three times no actually twice i wore it, i wore it the day you guys saw me in it I wore it all day and then I wore it for Halloween so this will be the third time um, I'm actually wearing it uh, like I said it's really pretty I like it I'll leave everything down below for you guys so along with this you're also going to need some type of wig caps I have a black one I have this nude color and I also have this satin bonnet i don't think i'm going to use this today all right so wig caps wig caps and i'm going to be using some scarves because i need it to cover up the hair that is going to be exposed which is almost half of my head i'm going to use this scarf it's so pretty i love this scarf especially like when you tie it up and then an alternative you can wear something like this you know like an infinity scarf or you can just wear like a single headband almost like a headband wig is what i'm trying to get at so let me take this down first okay so here is my hair my hair is out okay here we go this is it this is all of it okay do, 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 do. Yeah. So if you, you can you guys tell my hair has grown so freaking much. Like my twists are past my waist now. 
like twisted so crazy all right so the first thing that i did and look how long my lock is now that's crazy okay so i've showed you guys how i like to do like my bun so i take both sides and i basically just wrapped it around my head i took one bobby pin and i pinned it this side in place one side wrapped around and then I have this side and I also wrapped this side around put my lock up and I kind of just hold it there and then I take the stretchiest wig cap And I put it around my head. Okay. So about this wig cap, you guys, when I got it, it was pretty stretchy, but I stretched the heck out of it. Like I stretched it out even more. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay. You guys can see, like, I had to stretch the heck out of this wig cap just to put it on. Alright, I'm just going to put that back a little bit like that. So, this is what it looks like, actually. Yeah, I'm going to put this back about right there. Okay, one wig cap on. Now, it's fairly flat, but I like to go in and put a tighter wig cap on top of it. So, I just kind of loosen it up. Lord Jesus, okay, hold on. Start from the back and stretch this one over. This one flattens it out a lot more for me, but then I like to bring this one up to the front a little bit, like all the way up, okay? So this is what we got, okay? That's what we got. All right, but actually, I just pulled it back, not a lot. Actually, I don't really need to put it. So I have that right at my hairline, I don't know if you can see, but I have it right at my hairline, okay? So I'm not about to leave a whole lot of hair out and do all that. We want to protect our edges. That is what a protective style is for, especially if you are wearing wigs. My bra is annoying me. But um, if you are wearing wigs, please take care of your hair um, and please keep your hair moisturized. Like I said last night, I um, did like a hot oil treatment, if you will, with um, olive oil. And today when I wore my head wrap, I wore a... Um, I wore like a baggie of a shower cap thing because I wanted to do like a little hot oil treatment before I wore this wig because I know that my hair is going to be under this so I want to give my hair the opportunity to have enough um, moisture and just you know enough uh, conditioning because it's all compacted together. So I just wanna make sure I take care of my hair first. Okay, so this is the wig. Like I said, you guys know I have a lot of hair. I don't know how it looks on camera, but it's fairly flat. All right, so I'm just gonna flip the wig upside down. Oh, honey. Do not use the combs. I do not use the combs. I don't need them. If you do, you can. If you need to use the adjustable straps, you can. But um, because I wear my wig cap up far, I don't need to do that. I don't need to put any combs. So like I said, my wig cap is up far because we're not going to leave any hair out. Okay. So I'm trying to just get the wig over the back of my hair. It's like my primary 
go because that's where it kind of needs to grip on and stay okay so the back is fairly on um the wig stops here so maybe like at the very crown of my head so that's a lot of space and it's not completely on all the way because I have a lot of hair so I would need like a custom made wig cap just to fit my head which is no that's fine <laughs> so much hair i can't even fit in a wig that's fine okay so like like you guys can see does not cover my whole head but it's okay it's all right so this is what it looks like from the side it's fairly flat because all of the bulk is like down here on my hair so that's how it looks from the side not that bad now if you want to lay and slay your edges that's on you y'all I don't do all that so I'm gonna go ahead and get my scarf and I'm just going to fold it to, to until I get like my desired okay and then I'm legit just gonna tie it like nothing crazy kind of scoot it back a little bit Sorry, the mirror. Okay. Push it back a little bit. Like I said, I'm not gonna lay my edges. You can lay your edges if you want to. I'm definitely am not going to do it. And that, <laughs> that was it. Super simple, super easy. Super cute. Different. Want to change the look up for the day? You know. Sometimes we need. You know, we want to go from Erica Badu to Beyonce, and that's okay. It's okay. You have one life. Live it. This. This is what we got. Super cute. I kind of want to wear like a less colorful headband. Maybe. Let's see what it looks like with this one. If your headband like this, I would suggest putting it um, on your head before you put your wig on. Let's see. I'm gonna take this one off really quick. I really wanna get another wig. Like I wanna get like a more natural wig, but like shorter. Um, only because like I was looking at some pictures of when my hair was uh, shorter and I kind of missed that stage and nobody's cutting their hair. All right. So I don't want to hear any comments of, oh, just cut your hair. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> this is cute too, actually. Oh, this is cute. I like this one too. Oh, that's kind of cute. I feel like so 70s, no? Yep. Okay. This will look like from the side. Super cute. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You guys, make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you stay hydrated. My coldest water bottle, I'm going to link that down below too. Life changer. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I think I'm going to keep this one on. Looks like. Ooh. This is what it looks like from the back. So you can play around with it. Um, the wig, the wig is back here, so it's a ways, it's a ways back. But like I said, um, I'm not trying to wear these wigs and make it pass as if it's my hair. I really don't care if people know it's my hair or not. I really don't because I know that my hair is longer than this, and I have you know 
I have a considerably um, a lot of hair so it doesn't doesn't bother me I'm not wearing it because I don't like my hair you guys already know how I am um, but when I got this I was just so amused by how it looked and I like it and it's like oh I can switch my style up that's cute so if you guys see more wig reviews and stuff like that on my channel you guys know that I'm having fun I want to order another Amazon wig um, yeah so <sighs> I like it so if you guys have any questions don't forget to drop them down in the comment section below I will go ahead and link this wig down below if you guys are interested in seeing it or if you guys are interested in getting it and um, yeah like I said got it from Amazon 23 bucks 23.99 I believe but like I said I'll link all that down in the description below so quick so easy switch your style up I love it it's super cute and I never thought I would like it but you know you're allowed to change you're allowed to change your mind and your opinions there's nothing wrong with it um yeah I'm wearing this all day now like it's it's 223 in Cali right now and I'm just gonna I'm gonna wear it all day I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it off super cute though I love all you guys don't forget to rate comment and join us in the tribe if you are not ready to join us in the tribe and until further ado, I will see you in my next video.